Okay, folks, today I'll be teaching you how OAuth 2.0 protocol is used for authenticating Google APIs. Not just auth authentication, but we also use that as an authorization mechanism. So let's start. So there are three things that I'll be telling you today. The first is how to create a client ID and a consent form in GCP. The client ID and the consent form will give you the client secret as well as the ID which is used by Postman to generate the access tokens. So after the access tokens have been generated, we can pretty much access all the Google APIs provided that the particular access token has the scope needed to access the information that is requested for. So let's start. The first step is to go to your GCP console click on APIs and services and click on dashboard. You click on credentials and what we need is to create an OAuth client ID. So just click on creating an OAuth client ID. Now since we haven't created a client ID before, the first thing it will ask you to do is to configure a consent screen. So let's do that. Now you can see two types of consent screens. The one is internal and the other one is external. So the difference is if you have to create an app that will be used just within your organization, then you use an internal consent screen. Else you need to use an external consent screen if you want to make sure that your app is distributed across and anybody who has access to a Google account will be able to use it. You will only see this internal enabled if you are within an organization so as you can see i am within an organization here and if you were to select no organization then that option is pretty much disabled for you then at that moment in time you can just choose the external one and not the internal one so for this particular demo i'll be creating an internal one so let's just click on internal and cl click on create Uh, so the internal is already selected you can choose any application name like this application uh, choose any logo that you desire click on this and that's it you can just save this and you have your consent screen created after you've done this the second thing you need to do is create the OAuth ID. So let me just do that. So choose the application type that you wish to create. So I will be creating a web application, web client one. And I will be adding the redirect URI that is specified in Postman. So let me just open my Postman. So I go to authorization. And I choose OAuth 2.0. Here you can see a callback URL that is already hard coded, so I'll be just copying this and pasting it there. And that's pretty much it. So once you've generated your client ID, you can just download the credentials. And what you get is a text document like this. So what you need to do is you need to enter the client ID, the auth URL, the token URL, and the client secret in Postman to make this work. So I've gone to Postman. I've already inserted all the values. So what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to run this particular endpoint. This is the endpoint to get the particular project information so this is the endpoint 
and this is the name of the project uh, the other thing you need to worry about is the scope so you have to also mention the scope that is required to run this particular api now to get that i can go to the documentation and check so i'll go to the documentation to see what is the scope required to run that particular api so if i open this document i can see that these are the two particular scopes that are required to run this particular api so i'll just copy these two and i'll paste it in postman i've done the same here so let me just create the token first so let me just get that particular token and if i go and click on the user that i have registered for that particular project so as you can see i've already received an access token so i will be using this token to validate this particular endpoint so i'll just rename this as So I had already generated a few tokens, so I'll just give this name as my second token. And then let me just click on So as you can see that I have these many tokens generated. So I'll be using the one that I just generated. So I'll just click on send. And there you have it. All the information regarding this project ID has been sent back to us. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you, folks.